Good evening, everybody. Um, we start with Sky Sports for you. It's Jamie Weir. Good evening, Marco. Good evening. Um, two unbelievable goals. Do you have, do you have a favourite of the two? <laughs> Not easy to, to decide. I let this for you. Two different moments, but two great uh, strikes and great finishing that, in that situation. First one, very good recovery and reaction from João when you, the way we won the ball and great finishing from him. The other one different, the way the Salom Manor uh, link with, uh, with our striker in that moment and great finish in a, in a spot that is very strong. And that for you and for our fans to decide what is the best, but they were two great moments. Did you see Joao Palinas all because the TV... No, I haven't seen it. In the first moment, I haven't seen it. Uh, yes. Complaining about it? Yes. I haven't seen I was speaking with the Ford official as well about possible fault and I haven't seen it at the moment. Just finally for me, how do you assess the overall performance? Because, as I said, two unbelievable goals, the Leeds created so many chances, yeah. it could have been very different. No, that, that is true. I have to say more second half than the first one. I think first, first half we were the team more under control. I, the way the Leeds they came to approach the game and it was easy to understand from the first minute. Um, they were not team to press really high. They wait for us to start to control the game, and we started to do it um, to create some dangerous moments, not big chances, but dangerous moments around uh, around their box. And them always waiting for some dangerous counter attacks with the, with the quality of players they have in the attack line and the really fast players they have in the attack line. And in some moments they they waited for us and we we gave them what what really they want. Of course, the the goal. First goal uh, gave us um, the confidence we needed. We started to control better the game. Some good moments from ourselves, probably even to punish the, them with the second goal, and probably the game could be different. They had a very good chance, really, in the end of the first half, in one, in one moment that, um, of the post ball um, that they created. But okay, nothing really special. Second half was was different. I think second half we, we should have done much better in, in certain moments. We cannot be. Winning a game one nil at home, and after two nil at home, even away is the same, and be unbalanced so many times like we were. Um, we lost the ball quickly in, in certain areas that we cannot. And of course, when you are winning a game, every time we lost the ball, we gave the chance to them to make some dangerous counter attacks. Of course, they created much more that we wanted, we would like, and of course, um, take us took from ourselves that confidence that we should play, but. Um, credit to them, but much more uh, our fault in most of the moments. It's something the players they already know. I already spoke with them. Even if you won the game, it's something that we have to work on to improve clear because uh, when you are winning a game, even if you are uh, you are not winning, you cannot give the chance for them to make so many counter-attacks and create so many chances, even more when you are winning a, winning a game like we were and we, we gave many things for them. Of course, will be will be a miss for us. It's important play for us in in many moments of the game. But another one will come in, and another one will do, will do well this job for sure. And we have two solutions: Harrison Reed or or, or Lukic to to be in that uh, six positions, six position, and one of them will be there and will do a good job for sure. Um, about his performance, I cannot take his performance from the, the team. Some good moments. Um, was more or less so like the team. Um, some good moments, other moments and balance, other moments not in the, the best position to to cover um, the players ahead of him as well, and it's something that we keep. You have to keep working on him. And just in terms of the wider performance, you spoke a little bit there about things that you did like and things you didn't. But the result takes Fulham through to that first FA Cup quarterfinal since 2010. How big can that be for the club in a season when? The league form has also been so... No, I mean, firstly, it was, our, of course, our aim. And uh, I said, I keep saying, and I said from the first day of this competition that we we demand really high and we our ambition is really high in this competition. We, we are humble enough to understand that we are not favourites at all. The favourites are, are different teams than, than us, but we want to chase the competition and want to chase... All the our opposition sides, and um, any time you are going to play this competition, it's always to try to go through um, and play with full ambition. Is what we, the way we approach. Doesn't matter if you 
if you are making or not. We made again seven changes, one game to the other. Of course, it is important for some players to play this type of games and to create connections as well. It was really important for Lukic his first 90 minutes with the, with our shirt as well. The players that we, we are going to need them and ready was really important for me to, to play the 70 minutes as well. All these things are important when we play this competition, but at the same time we have been really serious the way we approach and the players they have been really serious as well. And I'm 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 really pleased for them because they, they deserve and we know as a club that uh, our story um, in this competition is not really great, great, great. Um, this season we have changing so many things in this football club in terms of results and um, our ambition is to do something different as well. Let's see what we are going to do in the next round, but our ambition is big. And just finally for me, you're into the quarterfinals, what becomes the aim now? Getting to a semi-final, getting to a final or, or winning it? No, oh, if you are going to play quarters finals, you want to, to do our best to, to to play the semi-finals. We'll be step by step always, game by game always, and um, is what will be. And our approach will be the same. We want to be um, to play the semi-finals, and we have to do our best in the quarters. Thank you, Sonia. Marco, you made seven changes today, and still managed to beat the Premier League team two now. What does that say about the depth of your squad? No, of course it's really important, and to be to be honest, I I would like even to do more and more and more. Of course, at the same time, I don't. I don't want to, to break many, many connections. For example, in our two central defenders, I would like to see Shane Defu with Tosin there, but we prepare the game knowing that they probably are again coming here to put high pressure on ourselves, all the situations, and I decided to stay with the left foot central defender because um, our plan, we, in our plan, we, we needed that central defender with left foot to start to build well our attack from the, in our left on side. Uh, and this time, as I said before, I would like to even to do more. But at the same time, I know I know that in certain areas we don't have many many solutions. It's clear in our in our midfield area we have to repeat many times. We don't have a, and as you know, Tom Carney is injured as well. It's difficult right now for us to rest a little bit. Andres Pereira is always playing 19, 19, 19 minutes. He's doing. A, you are demanding a lot from him. He's doing a big effort as well. Uh, clear for me that João second half was really tired and the last. 30 minutes, we start to lose the control of the midfielder zone because he was really tired, and probably I should have um, changed him early in the game because he started to lose many balls in that in that area and, and gave it the chance for them to make some really dangerous counter attacks uh, uh, as well. Lukic, as we expect, was tired as well, but his area, the pitch that we don't have many solutions right now. But I'm pleased the, the, that we are able to do the seven changes. I repeat again, I would like even to do more, but I don't want to break some connections and within our plan, some players, they were important to be to be on the, on the pitch and speaks about about ourselves as a, as a squad as well. I said before the last game, I think that we probably were, you are right now in our, in one of the best moments as a, as a team, as a squad, because I see players coming and showing better things. Harry Wilson is, is coming again in a good level, man or the way he's coming uh, as well. Good to see me throw back again and all, all the situations. I feel during the, the, the preparation, the week, that many players are, are coming in a better form right now and it's really important for us for the, the, the last three months of the, the season. Tony Solomon's done so well in the last few games. Has he done enough to guarantee a Premier League start yet? You have to wait until Monday and after I'm going to decide. Uh, as you know, he's doing really well, he's scoring important goals. Um, but on the left-hand side, the player that is playing there is being our one of the our best players this season so far as well. Uh, let's see what will be my decision. What I'm sure, um, any player that can play on the left-hand side or right-hand side, because Manor can play on the right, William can play on the right as well. And they are going to do their best, and they are going. To, and they know as well that the player that is going to be on the bench is ready to go again. That is a good thing for me. Peter. Uh, Peter. Thank you. I don't know if you would have seen this, but Lewis, Lewis Belmonte put a video of him doing shooting practice with the players this week. He scored three or four worldies. So I was wondering if that had any influence on. <laughs> no, no, I haven't seen. I haven't seen. Um, I just had a question about team news. Um, Lady Gazal was involved tonight. I was wondering if you could update us on this. Thing. Yes, um, two days ago, three days ago, problem. I think was the second after the our the our last game. Premier League match, um, second ses session after that game in one moment with, uh, with a player. Um, 
i se fra të pitë se... Da ma gjinis një, i se më të ndetë will not be... We're not going to be him soon on, on the pitch. It's not something really, really serious, but we'll be probably some, some weeks out of the, the, the competition uh, and because that he was not involved uh, tonight. Okay. Last, last question here. Okay. You need a question as well, Zia? Okay, well, one here and one Zia, last question. First one here. Hi, Marco. Congrats for tonight. Thank um, you. You're now seven games unbeaten in all competitions um, and you've only lost three games at home this year. Do the players almost feel invincible when they come? Ah, we feel really well. We feel really well. We feel uh, that is our place. Um, from the first day of the season, is something that they listen from from myself. That we have to make our cottage, our fortress as well. I think we are. You are proving that on the pitch. Uh, everyone that is coming here, they know that it will be tough for them, and is is good for us. It gave us give us the confidence to. To be to match the opposition side, um, and this is really important for us. And of course, um, feeling well at home um, is the best feeling that you can have when you are a football team. It's important the, the role of our fans as well that they have been with the with the team, and is everything what we want. Final questions here. Hi. Now um, you've been here 20 months. And in in this period, you can clearly see the progress that this team has actually made. And when you look at the supporters, there's definitely a good feel back in the stadium. How do you see that as a, as a coach, that what you've achieved, what this team has ever achieved? Are you really pleased or do you feel that there's a bit more to be done? Is, have you set yourself a target? No, I, I'm really pre pleased, definitely. I'm proud of everything what you have been doing. Uh, I was proud at the end of the last season. I'm even more proud right now. I'm pleased. But of course, we want more. I want more. I will demand more from them. And we, we know that uh, still a big room for us to improve, still there. I think we have the capacity to. I'm not talking about results because the results after can, can come or not. I, I know, of course, if you play well and if you are in, a, in, a, in some good moments, of course, you are closer to achieve results. But when I talk about big room to improve, I'm, talk, I'm talking in general, you know, about on the pitch, off the pitch, to demand every time more for us to, to keep growing as a football club. And I, I'm, I'm sure that is a, still a big room to improve. And um, the main thing is now for the next Monday, um, great derby to play, tough game to play. And I want to, our team to, to be better than we, we were did tonight. This is the main thing. But answer like to you, of course, we have to be proud. Uh, I know that our friends, they are, they are behind the team every time, um, they demand from ourselves, but at the same time they are with us and this is the main thing for, for me and um, we as a group, we have to be proud, but at the same time I'm the first one demanding more and more and more and the players, they know that. Okay guys, thank, thank you. you. Thanks very much. Oh. Wants to come here. Wants to come on, thanks very much. Huh? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Thank you.